Pictured is an unbreakable bond that's grown over the past five years. That's all after one nurse gave her kidney to nine-year-old stranger Ethan. I just couldn't shake it. Getting your daily social media fix usually starts with scrolling through your feed, right? And more times than not, we stumble across fundraisers, easy to pass by, whether it's for a cause or a person. But Kristen Timmons had a pinch to give. I saw a post on Facebook from one of our um, former nurses just stating that her son had been sick um, and other people in our facility knew that he had been sick. Um, they'd been going through the, the battle with him as well. Um, and so I just saw the post and I reached out to my husband and I said, you know, I saw this and I've been thinking about it and I think I wanna go and at least get tested. What started as an acquaintance at work has now turned into a family forever. We would say hi in the hallways, um, but we never worked directly together. We, we didn't hang out outside of work or anything like that. Test after test, Kristen finally deemed a match for Ethan. I was very at peace. Um, was anxious more to tell him because I knew that um, he was probably a little bit more nervous than I was. Initially, I was, I was selfish. I was concerned, uh, but you know, ultimately, it was her decision. Uh, so, you know, I, my my role, my job is to support her. So. Yeah. That's that's what I did. Now with her hubby and family all on board, it was time to take a flight to Boston, where Kristen and Ethan's lives changed forever. It had gotten to a point where they were about to do dialysis, and we know that that's really hard on an individual. And once you go on it, most don't come off. And so um, he was kind of on a timeline. Um, he was he already was very very tired and wasn't very active and couldn't do a lot of things but hoping was over and the time had finally come after nearly five hours later surgery deemed a success it's it's no joke i i just saw the excruciating pain that she went through and i don't know that we either one of us even imagined it was going to be like that he would send little pictures, like um, he, he would do like this kind of thing and, and send it over since we were in two different wings of the facility. When I get to see him, just seeing that he's gone from this little boy that wasn't even on the growth charts to somebody that's looking me in the eye and weighs as much as I do. I mean, he's, he's just flourished. A literal match made in heaven, and now, Ethan's mommy number two. What about his meds or anything? I'm like, are you, are you taking them? Are you drinking your water? Are you doing this? You need to mind your mom? Have you read your, your homework? I mean, like, so we tease him now that he's got two moms because you just can't help but feel like, you know, they're a part of you now. The gift of giving is something that can't be replaced. And Kristen says it saved her life just as much as it has Ethan's. We all have a gift. We all have a story to tell. It's just when we decide to either give that gift or tell the story. And um, I just had that nudge and somebody else might be having that. Ethan probably wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for us deciding to jump. And, and I can't look at him and his mom and think that I didn't do the right thing. And so because it makes such an impact on somebody else, I would I would beg somebody to, to consider it, for sure.